Good morning students. Welcome back on my channel. So today's topic is human circulatory system and we will talk on today my favorite topic that is heart. Right? Okay. So heart is a basically muscular organ which is a back like structure present between a two lungs. Slightly tilt, right? Between two lungs in a left side. So, here I draw a picture of heart, right? It is covered with two lines. Why this two line structure? Because our heart is covered with a membrane, double membrane structure, we can say that, right? So, we will talk on this first. Heart is, heart is a muscular organ which is sizes of our close fist like, right? Okay, so in our heart, there are four chambers, right? Four chambers, which are that? Two upper and one is, sorry, and two is lower. Now, which are these two upper chambers? Right, two upper chamber. We will uh, continue with the labeling also. This our heart one, two, three, and four. Four chamber heart. Right, two upper. I say this one one and two. So this is the picture. But if I will turn like this, my right side is this. Right. So we will label this side as a right side. Okay. So this is what the right. Atrium, first part. Upper two chambers are known as atria or atrium. Lower two are known as ventricles. Okay. So, why I give two? Because upper two and lower two. First, that is known as right atrium and second one is known as left atrium. Lower, same thing right ventricle and left ventricle right are you getting okay so this is right atrium this is what left atrium same over here this is right ventricle and this is left ventricle now just understood wherever i will write r a that means right atrium l a that means left atrium r b right ventricle and LV that is of left ventricle okay so heart have basically we are just talking about the structure of heart today okay so four chamber basically here human heart that is a four chamber and another who have four chamber heart in ninth standard you have studied that is of aves and mammals okay so aves also have the four chamber that is the same chamber atrium and ventricle okay so these are the four chamber upper two and lower two. Then, next one is between this two, there is a structure known as valve. Okay, so I am just going for valve. What is the function of valve? We will discuss on later. Location we are, this is known as tricuspid valve. And this is known as bicuspid valve. Why it is known as tricuspid and why it is known as bicuspid? Tricuspid because it has a three flap like structure. And here it is known as bicuspid. Bi means two. Two flap like structure, right? Bicuspid is also known as mitral valve. Mitral. Mitral means friends, right? So L extra. Mitral valve. Okay. So this is the basic structure. Four chamber. That is a valve between right atrium and right ventricle. That is known as tricuspid. Location I am giving you, okay? tricuspid and left atrium and left ventricle that is known as bicuspid valve. 
clear now another thing just this line this line this line okay so there are this thing is known as vena cava this is upper vena cava and this is lower vena cava what is a function we will talk on later on so that is vena cava then next one is this line here this entering here this outing that is known as pulmonary artery and another one is pulmonary vein so this is pulmonary vein this is pulmonary artery okay and this is known as aorta so this is the basic structure what we have to study in this human circulatory system or you can say heart so what is that four chamber heart two upper two lower upper is known as atrium lower is known as ventricle right ha huh. there is a uh, you can say structure difference in this atrium and ventricle atrium is wall have thinner where ventricle uh, ventricles wall are thicker for what we will uh, discuss later on okay so then valve two valves actually there are basically four valves are there but another two you will study in 12 standard ha 11 standard okay so basically this is tricuspid bicuspid that location of superior vena cava inferior vena cava you can say upper vena cava and lower vena cava vena cava as well then pulmonary artery then pulmonary vein and then aorta so this is the basic structure what we are going for now what we are going to study for today this is up with okay next uh, we will continue in next part uh, till now just make a note of this and draw a diagram thank you